Now, uh, how about number one on this, too, Cecil? Number one. Fellas, will you clear the set? We want to have a little dry run. Girls, can you let that go for a while? We just want to have a little dry run on this thing. Okay, wait though, you ready? All right, let's take it away. Let's go. Come on. Come it's on. nice to have you drop in on us. Hear that, Robin? It's spring. What year? Oh, somewhere between 1880 and 1900. And believe me, things couldn't be better than they are today. Yes, sir, we take a lot of pride in our home. Got all the latest things like lightning rods on the house, telephone, gas lamps, and the newest design in cast iron stoves. That reservoir keeps five gallons of water hot all day on just three buckets of coal. Sure beats chopping wood. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Now, uh, are you telling me something? Well, yes, you might say I am. There's two things, Walt. First, Mrs. Disney called. She wants to know, since you didn't make it home for Christmas, do you think you can for Easter? I doubt it. But tell her I'll see you at the fair. All right. Well, oh, uh, yes, and there is one more thing. Uh, they're here. Who's here? Uh, they are. Oh. Well, hi. <laughs> I know you want me to give a progress report on GE's progress land. This is the stage for act one of the Carousel Theater of Progress. Stages for the other acts are being assembled at other places in the studio for a complete audio animatronic dress rehearsal. Now this contraption here might look like something from outer space, but it's actually a control harness for programming the actions and gestures of our audio animatronic figures. Shall we show them how it works? Ready, Walt. Well. This is the Carousel Theater host. And whatever the man in the harness does, this figure will respond simultaneously in the same manner. Would you care for your life? I don't think we better. No smoking on the stage. <laughs> he can, uh, oh, read the newspaper. How about showing how you read the newspaper? What's the date of that thing? 1890. The operator of the control harness has to be a bit of a ham actor, as you can see. Now, you know, all of the operator's actions are recorded on tape. And separate tapes are made for each of our figures. And it takes lots of rehearsal and refinement to get the gestures to be lifelike. Adding dialogue is a separate operation. For this, the operator synchronizes his lip movements with a pre-recorded dialogue track. In this way, we make the figures talk. This electronically controlled method of programming can give us a wide range of movements. A broad gesture to the wink of an eye. That's it. Thank you. Now, for a better understanding of the carousel theater, let's go over to the little model. I've got brand new rugs and I've got used rugs. Yes, sir. I'll give you a trade-in for the rug. Brand new rugs and I've got used rugs. I'll give you a trade-in for the rug. Come here. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got one with only 3,000 cloud miles. <laughs>